Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna review the Seiko Mini Turtle reference number SRPC35K1. Before we get into it guys, please don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this. Okay, Seiko Mini Turtle. Look at that. This is a small watch at 42 millimeters and I'll put the specs right there because I forgot the others now this watch is really banged up look at those scratches there on the bracelet I bought this watch brand new and the moment I saw it I really like the size I'll demonstrate later with a comparison with the normal Seiko Turtle so that you could see the differences this one on the other hand is just a very solid watch the build quality is you know what you expect still a steel hard lex not sapphire there are modifications though that uh, you can change the, the crystal to sapphire some people don't like that uh, teardrop cyclops there but honestly I don't mind it Can't, looks kinda cool the only downside though is that the crown here is exposed and uh, some might find it uh, weird looking but overall this watch is a solid small watch and as you can tell I'm still wearing the 62 mass SPB 143 and this is also a small watch and we're gonna see them side to side later on but for now I just want to share this Seiko Turtle right here. It looks really astounding in person. It's just a small and beautiful watch. The finishing on this watch is straightforward. So far, there are no misaligned, and it looks good. This is not the Made in Japan version. Uh, this one right now is discontinued. Although there's a new one, which you can only buy uh, on Japan. I believe it has the second hand with the red. It's basically the same watch with those uh, little changes. But I like this one more. It's cleaner, it's plain, and you just can't go wrong with this color. In terms of accuracy, uh, the moment that I demagnetized this watch because I found out that it was magnetized, it had around 15 plus minus per day. I may need to regulate it at some point, but for now I'm, I'm happy with that for a while. Obviously since Seiko just claims that 40 or 60 seconds is uh, on their 4R35 movements. We can't expect C or C on at these price points, honestly. So that's a good for me. Here for reference, I'm going to show the SPB143 compared to the Seiko Mini Turtle. The SPB143 has a 40.5mm diameter and the Mini Turtle has 42. The Seiko Mini Turtle looks smaller because of that lug to lug, if you can see there. 
yeah. They are both beautiful watches. That grey dial that on the SPB is just mesmerizing. Really wearable. This one is huge as it is the normal sized one. But I do like that old accent. SPB, I'm still in the honeymoon phase on this watch. The mini turtle is just very wearable. If you don't mind having the day there on the date window. It's, it's, it's really fine. 436, you know, 435, and uh, it's basically the same movement only with the day date. You can't go wrong. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Please don't forget to leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll try and answer it. Thank you for watching and stay safe.